Do you know anybody that does home brewing? Yes. Did you know that Alabama, it's the only state in the U.S. where it's illegal to home brew? Oh, I better not tell him that. Which way? We're not trying to. I'm Dalton Lilly with Breaking the Law, and we investigate intrusive laws, the lawmakers who make them, and the lawbreakers who break them. And today, we're going to make some beer. I'm actually getting ready to talk to State Representative Mac McCutcheon, who introduced a bill that would legalize it for Alabamians that are 21 and up to homebrew their own beer, wine, and cider. It's just like cereal, it's like grape nuts. Now is it a particular way I need to stir? Not is at this all. good stirring form? You have great form. <laughs> Thank you. I practiced beforehand. Did you know that Alabama is the only state left that does not allow any form of home brewing? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, and Al they don't know that either. <laughs> so technically it's legal to brew wort, but it is illegal to add yeast to it. So you can have like the pre-beer, sure, yeah. but you just can't go full beer. Barley tea, yeah, that's Kay. basically what it is. Between five fellow freaks in the Cadillac, down a and why do you think in the past people have opposed it? People's individual beliefs and faith of, and just having an issue with alcohol in general. Alcoholism is a real problem in America. Uh, you have about 19 million Americans that are addicted. Do you drink alcohol? Oh, occasionally. Oh, occasionally. I, I'm an occasional drinker myself. Do you feel that people should be able to homebrew? Yeah, I mean, I got no problem with it. People were not educated to what homebrewing was. We feel like that if you don't start something, you have to worry about stopping it. I drank Chevy's Regal. Chevy's Regal is stamped and approved by the government agency that said this is healthy. Man, you gonna make everybody up there a wine over. Why do you think that it's still a law and they haven't followed suit with the other? That right there. Can't collect tax on it. Alabama Department of Revenue came by and they did indeed confiscate everything they decided to be contraband, which was literally everything, ingredients and equipment used in the manufacture of beer. Anyone can drop a line. Let's see if you can set the hook. I compare this to a civil liberties issue. So if I were to be told in, in the state of Alabama that I can't have a gun in my house, I think people would be pretty upset about that. Yeah, absolutely. I should be able to have a gun and a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not at the same time. You look at magazines and they got home brewing kits and UPS knows where we're out. I love drinking beer and it's not, it's not for the, uh, you know, it's not for the buzz. It's just for, it's a pleasurable thing. Uh, it's just like cooking good food at your house. That's, that's what I equate brewing beer to. So what are you going to say to your brother-in-law now that you know that it's illegal in Alabama? <laughs> I think, yeah, probably so. Be quiet. <laughs> you meet with friends and protest against the fact of being sober. You stop with drinking and you stop with thinking. Do you have any laws in your area that you think are borderline criminal? Let us know at www.breakingthelawtv.com. Maybe your law is the next one legalized. With Breaking the Law, I'm Dalton Lilly. And I'm Renee Rails. See you, See you next, next time. time. Remember